What is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Bitcoin daily video. Today we are talking about not only 20k but 21,000 guys. If you guys look right here you can see that currently Bitcoin is at $21,420. That is right guys that is not a mistake. Today not only did we break the all-time highs but we continued up. If you guys watched monday's video you will know that uh we told you guys about this breakout if uh if it broke out that it was going to continue up and that you needed to have entries above at like right above twenty thousand. so hopefully you guys took that trade and made some amazing profits here with this move um so we're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about what we're thinking of next what we can expect to see next in bitcoin and maybe some trade setups for the next few days for the web for the rest of the week to make some more profits so make sure guys that you are subscribed hit that notification bell so that you're uh, notified as soon as we release videos and uh drop a comment let us know what you guys think about this bull run so far this year and where do you think bitcoin is going to go by the end of the year um also uh what where do you guys think that bitcoin's gonna go in 2021 now that we've already reached this right so um let's jump right into the video guys Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and take a look here. As you guys can see, we're looking currently at the monthly chart and you can see how uh, back in 2017, guys, three years, who else has been holding for three years with me? Let me know in the comments. Um, look at this drop. So we, the, in 2017, the high was 20,093. And then that's when we had that drop all the way down here to uh the lows of what was the low here 3343 was the low before jumping back up in in june 2019 we jumped back up to a high of 13,920 just to fall right back down um till about we fell to 6410 and then in uh january of this year so we opened up in January at 7,163 and we ran up as high as 10,550 in uh, February before the pandemic hit and dropped us all the way back down to what was the low here? 3596. So um, basically the same low, same lows that we saw here. So this support held here. And that's when we bounced back up and basically took a rocket ship to the moon, guys. I should just put a moon up here because that's literally what happened here ever since this, uh, these, that drop right there. Um, yeah, guys, we did it. We've made it. We're at 20K. There's literally absolutely no way that you could be in a loss if you've ever bought Bitcoin at this point today, right? So, um, so let's talk about these last, first of all, these last three months, look at these candles, 28%, 42% and 8% so far in, uh, December, but November 42% guys, just in November, 42%. That's insane. November, we opened at 13,800 and we went as high as 19,942 insane run guys. Um, and then, uh, we opened this month in at 19,714 and we're currently the current high is 21,604. That is the new Bitcoin high. So we've been kind of, uh, messing around there. We've been bouncing up and up and down. Let's zoom in a bit to the daily, see what's going on in the daily, um, from a daily standpoint. Um, so you see here, this is the chart that we were, we've been looking at, right? We've been looking at this chart basically for, for the, the last few weeks or so uh, since the end of November. That's when we had the run up to test the all time highs and we dropped back down. Um, and then we've been bouncing up, you know, got rejected and bounced up again. And then that third time is usually a charm, right? So this is the third time that we do touch that same, that same spot. So you guys can see if you look right here, we touched it right here. Um, then we had this fake out right here and then all of this right here We were basically just getting rejected which led us back down then uh, We finally got this bounce right here at this support and that's led us up. So um, 
basically guys uh this is a breakout now we have to just make sure that we close above here um and then we gotta see what happens right so um the first thing i'm looking at here is what happens if we do retrace right if we if we have a retracement um a, a pullback where is it gonna pull back to so that's usually my first thought after such a big impulse move like this so i'm gonna go ahead and get the fib retracement level and start off from where this move started um all the way to the top here boom okay and um then let's go ahead and take a look at these levels here on the fibonacci retracement tool so the first level that we're looking at if we get a pullback is right here to the 23 percent um, which is that two that 20,600 range, right? That's the first area where we could see a pullback to the second area would be all the way back to 20k All right, so those are those are the two levels that I'm currently looking at for pullback entries If we see a pullback if we don't see a pullback and we just continue up then uh, I mean basically when you're looking up there's um you know not much to go off because we've never we're we're for the first time in three years we're in uncharted territory so we don't know really what's gonna happen right we don't above 20k there was no levels there's no history ever so um what we do to you to to kind of play these levels we we like to use um uh breakout momentum entries basically uh or pullback entries right so those are basically the two different strategies that we're going to be using um to enter new trades at these levels so the first one is uh a pull the pullback if there's a pullback we already have our two levels where we could look for entries right and if um if we continue up then we have we already have one entry that we can use for entry which is above the all-time high so above that, there's going to be a lot of volatility, which you can expect There's going to be both buyers and sellers. Um, and we're hoping that there's usually we're hoping for more buyers. Um, so that's usually when we break the previous all time high or the previous high of a candle. There's usually momentum that pushes the price up. And there's usually um, if there's any short sellers, they, they're usually putting their stop losses right above the uh, the previous high. Um, which also closes out their shorts, uh, which also helps push pump that price up. So, um, so that's going to be our third entry that we're looking for here, um, above the previous high. And then, uh, the next entry that we'd be looking at is basically, um, using that next big whole number, right? So that next big, big whole number, if we zoom in here now to the 4,000 and, and 4,000, what am I talking about? into the four hour chart um we're currently at 21400 so after the after the breakout entry here that new entry would be that ne that next big number is going to be 22000 right it's a very nice and even number so that's the next area where we'd be looking to enter a trade on a breakout above 22k so that's basically the three, the four, I just gave you guys four different trade setups um, that we're looking at, um, you know, on a pullback, we just gave you guys some levels that we're looking at. And if you guys look at here, now that we zoomed into the four hour chart, you see that we've already tested this, uh, this range right here, that 20,600. But at the time we didn't know that was going to be a level, right? So, um, so if there's a pullback, that's the first place that we're basically looking at. We're also looking at 21K. We're, we're gonna, we want to see if 21K holds there. Now, as you just as you guys just saw, uh, a new candle just opened. Let me see. Is the, the daily candle close? Yes. Yeah, so the daily candle just closed, right? So that's really big to see the daily candle close above the all-time high. Um, now we want to see this next candle, you know, stay above it, right? Um, so let's go back into the four hour. So we saw the daily candle just close. Uh, we ended up closing at 20,000. No, that's, that's the, uh, the low. Um, we ended up closing at 21,380 and we're currently, currently at 21,385. So, um, so the daily candle literally just closed right now. 
Um, so those are the trade setups that we're currently that we're going to be watching in the next day or two. Um, looking for another entry here for those of you that didn't get any entries. Um, for those of you that watched the Monday's video, we, we told you guys about that 20K entry. That was one of our entries. We also told you about an, uh, another few entries. I think we told you 19,500 was an entry. Um, so hopefully you guys were able to catch one of those trades uh, because they were both profitable. Uh, the test back to 19,000 was also profitable. You were able to enter through that. Um, and then now we're just going to wait and see what happens here, right? So we want to either see a breakout above the previous high um, or we want to see a breakout. We also want to see a breakout above the 22, which is a nice psychological whole number. And then uh, we have the two uh, retracement levels plus this, this, nice cycle, this nice psychological level here, that 21K. So that 21K, 20, 2600 um, and 20,000. Those are all going to be playing uh, pivotal roles in the next few days to see what happens with Bitcoin. So um, tell me, tell me guys, what do you guys think? Where do you think Bitcoin's going um, in the next few weeks if by the end of the, by the end of this year? And what do you think? Where do you think Bitcoin's going to go next year? Because if we already broke the all time high this month, where can we go next year? This is, this is still just the beginning of the bull run guys. Remember, we just broke the uh, the all uh, the previous all-time high and every time bitcoin has broke the all-time highs before you know it's gone on huge runs right so uh we just broke this all-time high for the first time this is just the beginning of the bull run um i believe we're gonna go much higher there's a lot of companies a lot of big tech companies that are joining into the, that are jumping into this space there's a lot of ceos and and the hype is starting to get real again. Remember, the hype hasn't even come in yet. The, now it's when the hype is starting to come in, but it's just beginning. Uh, in 2017, the hype was in around 5,000, 6,000. That's when the hype came in, which pushed us to 20. Um, now that we've broken the new all-time highs, now's when the hype is starting to come in, right? Um, so let's let's see, man. Tw I, I believe 2021 is going to be a really big year for us, um, and I'm excited to see where it goes. So, guys, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys tomorrow on another video. Again, uh, make sure that you like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We will see you tomorrow. As always, peace and love. We're out.